Well, hello everyone. Today I will be exposing Alastair Crowley. Alright, so Alastair Crowley was a Satanist and he created the Do What Thou Wilt Doctrine. The Do What Thou Wilt Doctrine is a damnable heresy and is literally a Satanic doctrine. Since the heresy of antinomianism, aka once saved, always saved, says that you can continue living in sin and still be saved, once saved, always saved is a damnable heresy, since you cannot continue living in sin and still be saved. Because of this, the once saved, always saved doctrine and the do it thou wilt doctrine are both the same heresy that is splitting cow wide open. The heresy of antinomianism is not passed off as the do what thou wilt heresy because then it would be too obvious. So then instead, the heresy of antinomianism is called once saved, always saved. Alastair Crowley did a lot of satanic practices and witchcraft. Now let's view Galatians 5 19 through 21. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Galatians 5 19 through 21 KJV Idolatry, witchcraft, and heresies are works of the flesh, and idolatry, witchcraft, and heresies are leading people to hell. Alastair Crowley did a lot of extremely evil things. We must stay away from witchcraft, idolatry, and heresies, because they are works of the flesh, and they are a sin. That's for Romans 6, 1-2. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Romans 6, 1-2 KJV Romans 6, 1-2 refutes antinomianism, and the entire chapter of Romans 6 also refutes antinomianism, aka once saved, always saved. Um, because the entire chapter of Romans 6 proves that you cannot continue living in sin and still be saved, since you cannot trample underfoot the blood of Jesus Christ, and because of this, the antinomianism doctrine and the do what thou wilt doctrine are both the same heresy. The heresy of antinomianism, aka once saved, always saved, says do what thou wilt, and the satanic doctrine of do what thou wilt is a damnable heresy. And because of this, antinomianism, aka once saved, always saved, is a damnable heresy. And all antinomianism does is lead people to hell. Antinomianism is literally a doctrine of rebellion and a doctrine of the flesh. Antinomianism is a very selfish heresy that is a massive insult to Jesus Christ, since antinomianism, aka once saved, always saved, denies the need to repent, and antinomianism also denies the essential facts that you cannot continue living in sin and still be saved. Once saved, always saved is a cultic heresy. We should not okay, we should not believe in antinomianism because antinomianism, aka once saved, always saved, is grave heresy. There is no biblical evidence for the rebellious heresy of antinomianism. There are a lot of verses in the Bible that refutes antinomianism. In conclusion, a lesser calling was in the court of Satanism, and we should obviously avoid Satanism at all costs. A lesser Crowley also led many people to hell by encouraging satanic practices, and we should not encourage satanic practices. We should avoid Satanism and all other cults at all costs. All of the false religions, including Satanism and Atheism, are damnable cults that are splitting cow wide open. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day. Oh, please subscribe to my channel and goodbye.